I'm going to show you how to tweak the injection pump on your 2.8 litre turbo diesel Daihatsu Rocky in order to get a little more power. Before attempting these tweaks you should ensure that you have a boost gauge and an exhaust gas temperature gauge fitted. It is also highly recommended that you have an intercooler. For this job you'll need a 6mm Allen wrench, a 10mm spanner, a small flat blade screwdriver and a 12mm socket. Here we see the injector pump with the four 6mm Allen wrench bolts on top. We need to get in here and loosen these in order to remove the top cap. Sliding the cap out of the way, we see the fuel pin diaphragm. It's a good idea to mark this so after you've adjusted it, you know where you started. In case anything goes wrong, you can put it back to its original position. Now we want to carefully remove this. After removal, when we put it back, we want to turn it so the wider side is now at the front of the car. But we'll do this in a minute. Also under the cap we have the star wheel. We want to mark that as well. So this can also be returned to its original position in case there was anything wrong. Very carefully using the flat blade screwdriver, we're just going to give this a turn clockwise. Now we're going to reseat the diaphragm from its original position, turning it clockwise 90 degrees. So this widest part here is towards the front of the engine. This screw on top of the cap can be raised up or down to increase or decrease fueling off boost. Um, I'm not going to play with it, but um, if you don't mind a bit more smoke to get a little bit more low down power putting around town, then you can mess around with it and see what happens. For the final adjustment, we'll be looking at the max fuel screw, which is this one with the blue on it here. You want to mark that as you have with the others so you can return it to its original position. And also, the idle screw here. As you increase the max fuel screw, your idle is going to go up as well, so you'll need to adjust it when you're happy with it uh, to set your idle back to something reasonable
If your pump hasn't been played with before, more than likely this will have an anti-tamper cap and tab on it. Um, from memory I cut mine off with some side cutters. So you may need to do that first. And just here is a lock nut which you'll need to undo. That's where your 12mm is and you want your flat blade screwdriver we'll go in there. But before doing this you need to start your car and it is highly recommended you have someone help you um, ready to block the air intake off in case your engine goes into runaway because if it does you're pretty much screwed. You won't be able, won't be able to turn around. Now with the engine running you want to turn this screw maybe in one eighth or one quarter increments and give it a rev after you've done each increment and the moment the idle starts to stop returning to normal quickly um, that's where you want to back it off a little bit and then try and fine tune it until you find somewhere where it's happy. With mine I could only go about one quarter of a turn before it upset it but um, every pump's different so see how you go. That seems okay. Let's go a little more. Here, there, the engine started to hang a little bit, take a little while to drop revs back, so I'll just wind it back a touch. Still hanging a bit, so I'll wind it back a little bit more. Alright, we'll go forward a little bit more. And I'm pretty happy with that, I think. Uh, now we just need to adjust the idle to bring it back down. This 8mm socket, which I forgot to mention earlier. And the clockwise is wild earth. for my taste so I'll drop it back a bit more
I'm pretty happy with that. We'll lock the auto back. Don't forget to tighten up the locking collar on the max fuel screw. And there you have it. Enjoy. Don't forget to watch those EGTs to make sure you don't melt your engine.